Hi everyone, Jaffe here and welcome back to Around the World in Many Days. Today's episode is number 28 and it's titled Staying Connected. Now uh, we're again going to have a uh, sort of a different uh, type of puzzle that, than we used to. We've had a lot of crosswords and grid puzzles. And last time we had something completely different with the circuitry thing. This is going to be a bit more straightforward, but still something that we haven't had before. Let's look at what Gladys writes us. So here we are. Uh, this is a connecting wall puzzle, similar to the ones used in the Only Connect TV show. The list of 32 words, which we have below here, can be divided into eight categories of four words each, where each word in the category can be combined with a certain theme word to form an existing term or phrase. Once you have figured out the eight categories and their theme words, those theme words can in turn be divided into two groups of four in the same manner. Uh, and then describing where we are. Um, today I have joined tens of thousands of people to watch a game in a large sporting arena. Can you guess where I am? Love Gladys. All right, so all we have to do is combine these words into groups of four uh, connected by some kind of theme word. And this is in fact e uh, even easier than uh, than the actual, uh, actual uh, Connect show where you can have different types of connections between words and different groups are going to have a different type of connection. Here, they're all going to have the same type of connection, which is forming new terms or phrases with, with the same word. So uh, we have the words, words here, bring them here. And um, now I, I debated whether, whether I should do this uh, without the dictionary. But I, I think it's um, it's useful to to use the dictionary here, uh, which is sort of a more maybe um, more systematic way. Maybe uh, if I was doing this on my own without like explaining it, I might j try to do it just uh, without any any outside help and try to try to get as far as I can. And that's maybe the the, the fun way to do it, but uh, I kind of want to justify the, the the process here and also like I'm not a native speaker, so there are going to be connections that I'm going to miss without the dictionary. Uh, so the explanation might be, uh, it's, it's probably better to explain with the dictionary. That said, I have two tabs open here. One is for Wikipedia and one is for Wiktionary to look up words. So, and obviously this, don't have to be words in the dictionary. They could be proper, proper names as well. So that's why we have Wikipedia there. So uh, let's start with uh, looking at our first word. Now, where do we start? Where, what's the best word to pick to start with? Now, the best place to look is going to be a word that has, has very few uh, options, that has very few uh, uses in other terms. A thing like what do we have here? We have the word her. Now that means nothing. That's a proper name. And it's not a very common proper name. Now that's not going to be useful in very many combinations. So something like that could be a good place to start. Something like yam. Yam, which is a word in the dictionary, but it's not going to have a ton of different um, different uh, combinations here. Or things like uh, gaff, which is, uh, which is a word, but not a very common word, right? Whereas things like big or things like um, open, very common words are going to have tons of options that we have to go through. So those should be the last ones with the, that we look. So I'm going to start with the word her. And see, that's going to go in one category. And uh, we just need to find a good... Um, Good word that it goes with. So, I'm going to start with dic uh, with the dictionary. So, just just in case, if we have um, words combined with her here, now uh, I'm going to share a little tip here. How to how to look for these is to use the in title. So that just uh, if I type just her here, it just goes to the to explain the word her, which. I assume it's a word in some language. It's Basque, apparently. But it doesn't give me any, any options here. Now, what I do 
is uh, used in title. So in title, then colon, and then I put the word, and then it gives me a list of pages which have that word in the title. So, and the title of a, a dictionary entry, obviously, is, a, is an existing term or phrase. So here we have uh, pages containing her in the title. So her, her, obviously we don't need those. We need two, two word titles. So scroll back and then obviously this is uh, the English dictionary. It's going to have uh, terms in other languages as well. I mean, we don't care about these. And uh, we, we don't have to scroll all the way down. I mean, I assume hur means uh, how in, in Swedish. So it's going to have a lot of pages containing that word. But um, we don't have to go all the way down. We just check that there aren't any, any sort of very common ones. And it doesn't look like there are. So we're going into Wikipedia and do the same thing. In title, her. And let's see what we have here. And one is going to be uh, the standout word here. I don't think there are very uh, any other options really other than Ben Her. So that's the name of a, uh, a novel and obviously most famously maybe the film. And then we have people named Her and things like that. But Ben Her is going to be um, Ben is going to be the word that we are looking for here. So now we need to find words that go with Ben to, to accompany this her in this in this category. Now I'm going to keep this, uh, remove these words from this, keep this sort of list, uh, th this list as sort of what we have left currently. So removing her here. And now we can look at what words go with Ben. So we have, let's look at, uh, Ben awake, Ben bearer. There's no Ben bearer, but Big Ben is a term. So um, uh, obviously these combine in different ways. Ben her takes the Ben at the beginning, and then Big Ben takes it at the end. It doesn't doesn't matter. Both do combine with Ben. Uh, also, they can combine in different ways. It could be Big of Ben or Ben in Big or something like that. So if if it's a common enough phrase, that should work as well. Um, just just to keep in mind another thing to keep in mind big ben does work but it's not necessary that these are in the same category because we might have six words that go with ben and we have to pick four and the other two go in different uh, different categories but i'm going to put everything that goes with ben here so big ben obviously we know we don't need a dictionary for that um what else do we know boy ben breaking ben Broken Ben, Ben Cat, Criminal Ben, Ben Drum. Not, not looking very good here. What do we have? Ben Nevis is going to be uh, another one that goes with Ben. So that's the, the tallest mountain in, in the UK is Ben Nevis. So Nevis works with Ben. Nevis will also work with St. Kitts, but St. Kitts doesn't combine with a lot of things. Um, and then we need a third, and uh, we need a fourth as well. But we don't have to fill all every category at once. We can sort of limit these options, and then come back to this category as well. Um, what other things should we be looking at? Um, okay, let's try another category then. I'm not sure what uh, what the fourth one is for Ben, and it doesn't matter. Let's look at. Um, so Nevis was also one of the, the more restricted ones. Then the Yam should probably be pretty restricted as well. So let's see. Something for Yam. And we can look in the dictionary for that one. So obviously the first entries are going to be just the word Yam in different variations with an accent mark with a capital letter and so forth and so forth. But once we scroll down, well, there are a lot of them. With a with a schwa here, with an other Wow, uh, a lot of different things with an M with a dot there. Uh, eventually, we get to these phrases like yam yam. Now, a yam, which would be pretty unusual to have, yam as the te theme word, and then yam as the as the as an as one of the words contained. But that would be one option. Purple yam, completely valid. Uh, tom yam, which is a soup. Or tropical yam. 
and we can sort of write these down and then think about what kinds of things from here. Remember, we need four words from this list that go with one of these words. Now, tropical can go with a lot of, a lot of things. Can it go with anything here? Um, mm, don't see it immediately. What about the word yam itself? Uh, well, we have the list here, and we don't see many words from this list on this page, not in the first 20 anyway. Jewel, greater, that's not going to be there. Tropical, um, Tom, purple, so these are what we have here. Purple should be should go with a lot of things. But then, uh, once we get to Tom, we should be seeing the, the connections here, which, because this is the... This is the correct one. So Tom Yam, we have Tom Cat, and we have Tom Boy here. So Tom is going to be our, our theme word here. And let's see, Yam, so Tom Boy, which is one word, but it does combine. So just putting those two together. Tom Cat works, and then we need one one more word for Tom here, which I don't immediately see. So we can go move forward and look at uh, what's the what's a restricted word here that's not going to have many many options. How about gaff here? Let's look at gaff. So how does GAF then combine? We have GAF, GAF, and then here's GAF sale, top sale, GAF rigs, GAF rig, penny GAF, not sure why I skipped that, monkey GAF. I'm going to write some of these down. So sale, monkey, rig, and penny. Now, sales should look good because we have junk here, and a junk is a type of ship, so junk sale. Sale, um, trying to look at another one, which is not correct, but the sale is not, not the theme word here, but the, it should have some, some connections even in, in this list. Now, what about monkey? In a monkey. Uh, it's not a thing, but it it should be. You should have an inner, you know, everyone should have an, an inner monkey. Uh, not seeing or, or, or right away. Uh, but the con correct one is going to be a rig. So we have oil rig here, uh, and then junk junk rig, a type of uh, type of rigging for for sails, say like the sails of a ship. Junk and oil are going to be here. Need to remember to remove this. Do I remember cut? I removed boy. I removed yama. Yeah, okay, I removed those, but junk I haven't yet. Where is it? Here and gaff I haven't removed. Okay, so this is the the, the remaining list. So gaff rig, uh, we can look up that is actually. So that's that type of rigging, and then we have junk rig, which is going to be another type. this type of uh, rigging, rigging of sails. And uh, in fact, we have uh, a, a third version of that, which is going to be, if we look up rig, what kind of things rig go, goes with. So oil, we had oil. Jewelry, we don't have jewelry here. Uh, jerry, we don't have jerry, but we do have the word square here. Square is this one. And square rig is a third type of Third type of sailing rig here. Sort of nautical knowledge required here, here, but but those four do go together, and we have our first full category here. Uh, remove square. Now let's see what else. What else is going to be very restricted here? Okay, I see now drum actually. Uh, 
a tom drum or tom tom is a is a type of drum so drum can go with the tom remember these don't have to be uh finished yet there could be another uh, word for tom and then we would need to remove one of these so it's not going to be four and only four words that go with this each theme word but at least these work so let's see um what about inner um actually is that maybe worms is much much less uh much more restricted let's try worms so what could it go earthworms um can can of worms we don't have uh no we could have can because that's the that's the word that's not in in this list that's the theme word food more lob gummy could go with worms let's just try some of these down so earth gummy what did we have more lob can and food now um it's maybe too too many but but i mean even a word like worms can be combined with a lot of things apparently so what can we have here earth what can earth go with earth hour earth Uh, let's see middle earth we don't have do we have anything from our list here for earth rare earth middle earth full earth, earth earth fast it doesn't look like it not in the first 20 anyway so earth is not going to be that one gummies should be impossible immediately not a lot of things now bear bear and worm but we don't have bear here we have bearer and gummy bearer is another thing weeds sharks don't have those so and that's that's all of it it's, there's not even a second page there so gummy is out and more should be out as well more worm which we had or worms uh, but also remember it's worms and not worm so at least one of these is going to be a word that only works with worms plural and um, and yeah we have one of these options actually that only works with worms and that's can can of worms so it's actually going to be can and now what does can go with it goes with what do we have um garbage can garbage can works then we have can opener uh, here and we need one more soda can that's on the other side of the word but soda can works as well so that's our oops what did i do uh that's our can category here one valid 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 way of of making the can categories uh, at least so let's um let's try to then work out what these go with so all of these are starting to be a bit a sort of normal words not not all that restricted so let's see let's do offering then so not offer but offering that should may, maybe be not there shouldn't be that many candidates should there so offering so heave offering public offering burnt offering peace offering um, yeah there are still quite a few of these let's just type these type these in so heave Heave, then we have public, burnt offering, and peace offering. Uh, 
what's up with these spaces. Uh, and th those all go with offering. So heave, can we find find anything for heave that, that is in our list except for offering? I'm going to remove offering from this. And let's see, heave ho, we don't have ho here. We would have started with ho if we did. Heave to, heave offering, heave hoed, heave o, dry heave. Don't really have anything from this list of words that goes with heave, so we're going to remove that option. Then public should be, there should be plenty of stuff with public. Let's do burnt first. And of course, any of these could be, uh, could be um, proper nouns, but I'm going to look at those maybe last. So burnt, sienna, burnt umber, burnt out, overburnt, burnt ears, none of those are here. Burnt orange, offering was here, but that's the only one I think that is going to be on our list. So burnt is out as well. And let's look at peace. So peace offering is a term. And if we look at peace, we should be looking at some of the words that we do do find on our list. So rest in peace. Rest doesn't work. It's not here. Make isn't here. Sign. We do have a sign here. So peace sign. Um, so sign works. And then we have uh, peace treaty, peace pipe, at peace, keep the peace, peace officer, world peace, swear the peace, pipe of peace, a lot of things. Peace of mind. No, mind did, we did have here. So peace of mind. So that's uh, mind works. And in fact, inner peace also is a thing. So inner goes there as well. So those are four words for inner. Now let's look at, uh, what do we look at? Look at next, receiver. How about receiver? What do we have? Like phone receiver. You can pick up the receiver. Now there's a word that's not going to be useful for a super heterodyne receiver. I mean, I mean, that doesn't combine with these words. I promise you that. I'm not going to look it up. Rake receiver. Uh, rake would work. Supersonic heterodyne. Again, not, not the best option for us. GPS receiver would be an option. So let's see. GPS. Uh, rake. Watch receiver. Watch. That's a pretty useful word for combining with different things. Radio receiver. Uh, I said deceiver, radio receiver, I should say. Radio, this wide receiver, wide, you know, like from, from sports. So let's try those. So receiver would be our word here. So this is our sixth category now. Let's look up GPS. What can GPS go with? Uh, GPS receiver, that's the first one here. And then there are some, uh, Foreign words, GPS art, we don't have art here. System, we don't have system. Not in the on the first page at least. It's not going to be GPS. Let's look at rake then. So rake receiver here, hell rake, we don't have hell. Lawn rake, grass rake, nope. Rake and scrape, stubble, off, thin, none of these are in our in our list here so not rake now watch it's going to have a ton of meanings let's let's and and i mean i i guess we could look at this as watch awake watch bearer breaking watch broken watch now broken clock is a thing but broken watch let's see pocket watch there's also pocket would work both ways apparently Watch night, whale watch. Uh, not going to be right here. So the right one is going to be the wide, and we can look at wide actually. So we have um, wide open, which is here, or open wide, both work. Uh, we have wide awake, that's also here. So wide receiver, wide awake. Wide open, uh, worldwide, far and wide, wide eyed, wide ranging, 
uh, what's the last one? We had receiver, didn't we? White screen is going to be white screen. Now that's actually, this might not, no, it should find it because like whiteness here, it's one word. It should find, uh, even it's, if it's one part of a, part of uh, a word spelled as one word. So white white screen should come up here, at, but it's not on the first page. But white screen is the fault one here. Okay. Okay. So we have exactly eight left, and we have six categories now. Uh, actually, that's wrong because we only have three for Ben. Uh, no, we have. Oh, these are two words. So we have nine here. So eight are going to be our two remaining categories, and one is going to be for Ben here. Actually, we can look up Ben in, in Wikipedia, but Ben is like, because it's such a common name, it's going to be, have a lot of options here. Ben, so which one of these is going to be uh, our Ben here? Uh, ben and Jerry's, Ben Falls, Ben Sierra, David Ben Gurion, Ben Affleck, Uncle Ben. And when we scroll down enough, I think we find our Ben. It's going to be gentle Ben here. We just also just look up all these combinations. But gentle Ben is going to be the the last combination. That's the the character from from gentle Ben, the book. So gentle is going to be our last Ben option. Now no, now we have. Uh, now we have four for all of these categories. Now remember, these don't have to be the final, final correct ones. We can still switch them up if we find another one that goes into one of these, and then one of these goes goes in the in the other ones. But these are at least possible now. So let's look at uh, where do we look next? Bearer, breaking, broken, criminal, holder, player size and t now a tip here um if you see breaking and broken things that are uh, very close in meaning to, to each other they are going to be it's not going to be like um that uh, we're referring to the same thing in two different ways so uh, how could breaking and broken be like breaking the law broken law or something like that you wouldn't see that the same thing being referred twice so it's more likely that they either refer to the same word in it in different ways or that they are in different categories altogether but i think bearer here should be our uh, our most restricted one bearer not a very common word so let's see what we have for bearer so standard bearer Woodwork, cross bearer, tail bearer, flag bearer, another tail bearer. Ah, that's without the, the hyphen there. Tail bearer, bearer bond, uh, stretcher bearer, armor bearer, cup bearer. So a, a, a lot of things actually. Actually, purse bearer, sword bearer, bell bearer, uh, and, and we can look up uh, all all these things and see what uh, what kinds of words combine with these. I think I'm going to. Just skip to the correct one, and not because we sort of saw the saw the process already. It's not maybe that useful to show it again. But the correct one is going to be uh, is it cup bearer. And the reason why it's cup bearer is we have cup size, we have cup holder, which is sounds sounds a bit like cup bearer, but it's a different thing. And uh, what's the remaining one so cup bearer cup holder cup size and a teacup teacup goes there and now the remaining thing is to find a word that goes with all of things breaking something uh, broken broken something criminal something and player something oh obviously it could be oh, it doesn't have to be in, in that order that I mentioned that it could be something player, something criminal. But anyway, um, a word that works here is record. So record player, it's a thing. Criminal record, you can have a criminal record. A broken record, 
is an idiom meaning you are repeating something you're a broken record and then you can break a record breaking a record or record breaking something you know record breaking uh, run at the box office well it took a long a long time to come up with an example but anyway um, all of those words go with record and now since we have um, since we have uh, eight categories of wow can't get get this in the correct place wow okay can't do it remove this breaking anyway um so since we have eight categories of size four we should be pretty confident that we have the correct ones uh, if we can can find six, uh, eight other categories it just means that there's been a mistake uh, in the making of the puzzle basically so but this is not the end now we have to take these eight words and we have to form two more categories so let's see let's just write those in then tom rig can piece wide cup and record so those are going to and i'm going to remove this in a bit but those are going to be our new sort of words to find categories for now again we can apply the same same logic what uh, what is the most restricted one and obviously we are not going to uh, repeat the, the ones that so if we pick Ben we're not going to be needing where did I, why did I put Ben there I was gentle wasn't it? gentle Ben and I wrote not gentle but Ben for some reason it was supposed to be gentle um, uh, anyway we even have it here still uh, so it's we're not going to be reusing any of these words so if we look up um, which one of these is most the most restricted uh, I guess rig I guess we can look at rig I'm going to re remove this so that we don't get confused and what can rig go with so oil rig we had we can have jewelry rig we can have jerry rig square rig we had gaff rig we had drilling rig that one that one we're not going to have carolina rig and then other things let's type in uh, should we do this for all eight words and then we can find if there are any any in common let's do ben uh, is ben going to be useful let's try ben so what do we have for ben um mm, we had uncle ben didn't we but it was here wasn't it all oh, right because yeah ben is it's not a word in the dictionary so yeah ben is um skip ben what did we have for tom So Tom, a lot of just different spelling of Tom's. So Tom, 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 Thumb, Peeping Tom, Tom Dico Harry, Tom Drum we had. Okay, so those go with Tom. What about Cam? Cam's got a lot of options, doesn't it? Let's try. So these are all just just sp different spellings of can or chan or chang or whatever. Yeah, maybe not the most useful thing to look up here. Um, okay, I'm going to skip a bit ahead because this might take a, a while to sort of systematically find find the connections because these are maybe not not so easy easy to see. But it's not going to be Carolina here. It's not going to be drilling, and it's not going to be jury. So Jerry rig to Jerry rig something is um, is the is the connection we're looking for here, and uh, that takes up rig. And then we also have Tom and Jerry, uh, the cartoon Tom and Jerry. We have Ben and Jerry, which is uh, which is a type of ice cream, Ben and Jerry. And we have one more which goes with jerry jerry can 
Jerry can. Oh, I wrote Jerry again. Wow, uh, I meant can. So those go with Jerry. And then we have something piece, wide, cup, and record. And yeah, Tom, we already used, and can we already use? Remove those. So what goes with piece, wide, cup, and record? And the answer is going to be world, uh, world piece, worldwide, world cup, and world record. All existing things so world is going to be our second second of our final categories here so jerry and world are going to be the sort of final answers here now how does that get us to uh, a sporting arena he asks knowing the the answer is that there is a sporting arena named that so let's look up that next uh let's actually look it up here Jerry World is going to is the the nickname of a stadium in Texas. So it's the AT&T Stadium. That's the official name, and here's a picture of it. So that is the the home of the Dallas Cowboys, and that is our uh, Gladys's destination this time. So that's where we are. We are in Arlington, Texas, at the AT&T Stadium, also known as Jerry World. So that's that's that let's look at where we are in the map then the maps here last time we were in we were in nicaragua we're going north again we're in texas now so this is the map so far coming from here all the way down to antarctica and now we're all the way up here in texas in in arlington in this in this sporting stadium so uh, that's how you solve that type of connection puzzle. And uh, next up, we are going to have uh, a cryptic crossword for a change. And it's going to be a puzzle, which is number 29, is it now? And it's called Tropical Rhythms. So I will see you for that one. And for this one, thanks for watching.